This video is going to look at how we can combine two sub collections within a stream by using the new TN collector that has been introduced with Java 12. We typically use the collectors class with the collect terminal method of a stream to combine our streamed elements into a collection. But TN allows us to duplicate our stream into two separate streams and to then combine those sub streams into a single collection at the end. But when might this be useful? So let's take a look at an example where we want to find both the oldest and youngest employees in a collection. I have an employee class with a name and an age, and I'll define a few demo employees into a list. So we have Michael, who is 43, Jim, who is 28, Pam, who is 27, and Stanley, who is 68. We will populate a map of string to employee where the keys will be the words of oldest and youngest, and the value will be the respective employee within our list. So without using the TN collector, we can define the youngest employee by streaming the employees and calling min, passing in the comparator that is comparing the employee by age. We can then define a new employee as oldest, streaming and collecting the maximum using the same comparator by age. I've also called get on both of these streams to convert the optional of employee into an actual employee object. I'll then put both of these employees into a map with the key of youngest and oldest respectively. And if I print this out into the console, we can now see Pam and Stanley printed to the console. So let's take a look at how we can achieve the same map but with the TN collector. First, I'll define a new map of type string and employee. We will stream the employees and call collect to aggregate the data into a collection. I will then call the TN method on the collectors class. So first, we provide the two collections we would like to combine. So the first collection will be for the minimum age, which we obtain with collectors min by and then passing in the comparator by employee age. The second collection will be the eldest employee, which we obtain with max by, passing in the employee age as the comparator. And if we just step into the teeing method to see its signature, we can see that it first accepts two separate downstreams of type R1 and R2. Then it will merge these two streams of type R1 and R2 into a third collection of type R that is then returned. We will now define the third argument, which is that by function, where we pass in a functional interface that contains two arguments, and these two arguments will represent each of our first two collections. That by function will then return a third type. So I'll start by opening a bracket and passing in young and old. Young will represent the first collection, the youngest employee, which is an optional, and old will represent the second collection, the eldest employee, also of type optional employee. Now within the body of the method, I will define a new map of type string and employee, and then put two entries to it. First, with a key of oldest and the value of old. I will call get on the old to remove the optional type once more, and then the same for youngest with a value of young, and then I will return the map. So looking back, the TN collector has duplicated our employee stream where one has collected the employee into a single youngest value and the same for the eldest employee. Then we've taken both of those collections which consist of just a single employee and have collected them both into a new map that is then returned. If I print this out, we can now see both employee lists printed and identical to each other. I will quickly show another way we can use the TN collector. So let's say we would like to find the youngest employee and the average employee age, all from that same stream. So I'm just going to duplicate our TN example and remove the map that is returned. And I'll change the second collector from max by into summarizing int which will return an instance of int summary statistics using the employee's age. 
and then I will change the second argument in our functional interface to stats. Uh, this is just to be a little bit more descriptive. And then just within the method body, I'm going to print out the youngest employee and the average age, returning null for the merge. Now if I run this, we can now see the two lines printed down below where the average age is 41.5. So that concludes this video. To summarize the T in collector, we will use it to first create two separate collections from a single collection, and then to merge these in any way together to return from our stream. Teeing can be really useful if we ever find ourselves streaming a collection twice and performing logic on the two resultant outcomes. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out my other videos on Java version updates that will include syntax changes for all prior versions of Java down to Java 8.